are here and we are very excited to be at the launch of the new research center in data analytics for finance and macroeconomics at King's Business School. We're bringing together a range of policy makers, business people, academics for this event. This is a very important initiative for the business school and so we're excited about tonight. We're going to have the Chief Economist of the Bank of England launching the centre and this is part of our efforts to analyse big data and to discuss how we can add value to activities of uh, central banks and other policy making institutions in the UK and abroad. And let me just start off just by saying uh, how delighted I am to be here at the launch of the Data Analytics for Finance and Macro, a research centre here at King's. I am going to say that I believe that the application of these sorts of big data and data analytic techniques are crucial to many of the most pressing questions. This area holds real promise. The aims of the center are to essentially work with big data but in a different way. So we're going to be developing statistical and econometric techniques to answer real problems in the world of economics and finance. You have human behavior in being involved. You have interactions of people, you have strategic behavior, you have a lot of endogenous aspects in this uh, uh, complex process. So it is important that we have both the data analytics component but also where we apply this data analytics. Will big data keep its promise? Well, I am optimistic it will. Economics and finance needs to make an ongoing investment in these techniques and it very much includes the work here of DAFM. We're having a new start and we have a good group of people we are addressing things from a fresh perspective. Our conviction is now reinforced after the speech of uh, Andy Halden, who underlined the importance of this data center and we are extremely excited. 